Ooh, let me tell you a big secret. Your brain is wired to seek comfort, pleasure, and what's familiar. You are not lazy. Your brain wants what's comfortable, what brings pleasure, and what's familiar. It wants to keep you safe. That's the job of the brain. Your brain wants you to survive and not put yourself in a dangerous situation. The three things that will keep you from creating new habits are the fact that your brain wants comfort. Your brain wants you to avoid pain or any discomfort. And when you do something that makes you feel good and relaxed, you know, like staying in the bed or eating your comfort food, being isolated, your brain learns to repeat that behavior because that's what makes you feel safe. Your brain releases feel-good chemicals called dopamine. This is why we get the cultural uh, urban language, oh, that's dope. We mean it's good because your brain will create dopamine when you do something that you enjoy, like eating, socializing, shopping, hobbies, gambling, sex, hanging out with your friends, scrolling on social media, watching TV for hours, drinking, spending, or even the fun of achieving something new. Your brain finds that to be pleasurable. And this motivates you to keep doing those things because they bring you satisfaction. And if you continue doing things that are disruptive to your life because you do too much of it, like the eating, the drinking, the spending, and so on, you need to learn how to train your brain for new habits because your brain is always going to go back to what brings you pleasure. The third thing is your brain wants what's familiar. What you already know feels safe. Why? Because it's predictable and the brain likes that. You know how you always go to the same restaurant, you order the same food, you tend to wear the same clothes, you tend to hang around the same people, you choose the same route when you go to the store or to your job or to church. You know, even if something isn't great for you and you're used to it, maybe you're used to that job that's stressful. Maybe you're used to being in an abusive or dead-end relationship. Maybe you're used to being bored and lonely. Maybe you're used to living with constant drama and confusion. Maybe you're used to financially struggling and you tell yourself you'll never make any more money. Maybe you're used to living in a place where you're unhappy and you really want to move, but you've gotten used to it. You may even watch the same movie or Netflix series. I do this all the time. Because there's no surprises. You already know what's going to happen. Your brain loves that. It loves what's predictable because it knows what to expect. So trying something new can seem really risky because the outcome is uncertain. You're not lazy. Your brain doesn't want to do anything different. I I can't begin to tell you the possibilities that await you once you develop courage and consistency with a new habit. I'm going to say that again. If you could develop some courage and consistency with a new habit, you'll start seeing so many wonderful things happening. But you know what happens is that you're trying to change a bad habit and the good habit never develops because you keep procrastinating. So you may say, you know what, I I would like to drink more water, but you keep drinking soda. You say, I want to eat more fruit and vegetables, but you keep eating junk food. You may say, I want to save, but you keep spending. You may say, "Mm, I need to be exercising, swimming, walking, jogging, but you keep sleeping. You may say, I'm going to take a class instead of complaining about my lack of money or not getting that promotion. You may say, I'm going to walk away from the drama and the arguing You may say, I'm going to stop arguing and acting like a victim and getting pulled into somebody's drama, and you really want to walk away from it, and you really want to stop arguing, but you haven't developed the habit. You may say, I really want to travel and accept social invitations instead of isolating. You may say, I really want to spend more time reading, meditating, praying, fasting, or seeking support instead of ignoring my exhausting trauma and painful issues. You may say, I need to dedicate more time on my goals and my dreams instead of running, avoiding, and engaging in non-productive activities. You may be haunted by the fact that you should be finishing that critical paperwork, the taxes, the bills, the reports, the tests. Instead, 
you keep avoiding it. You're not lazy. I'm going to say it again. You are not lazy. You have frustration, hesitation, and procrastination about tasks that you don't enjoy. They don't bring you pleasure. Or you're avoiding it and you're procrastinating because you feel it's just not a priority. It's just not important. Or it's simply not aligned with your values. See, if you're agitated about finishing a task or learning a new task that is not enjoyable or it's not even aligned with your personality, your lifestyle, your habits, your dreams, then you're probably procrastinating. You're like, uh, this has nothing to do with me, but it could cost you. When you engage your time and your effort with a priority and something that you really value, you don't need to be motivated. You are not motivated by reward or consequences because you will automatically behave and act according to what brings you pleasure. And it's aligned with your values and your high priorities. There's a reason why we're called creatures of habit. You have a certain habitual way in how you cope with stress, loss, hurt, and changes in your life. You create misery or joy from your thinking habits. You create lack or abundance from your habits. You create a sluggish body or a healthy body through your habits. You create despair or hope through your emotional habits. You create drama or harmonious relationships through your habits. You create limited living or opportunities through your habits. You create clutter or peace through your habits. In short, your brain is always working to protect you by sticking with what's comfortable, familiar, and feels good, even if it's not always best for your growth. So you're not lazy. Grow out of your comfort zone and excuses. Get out the dryer right now. Come here. Get out the dryer. Close the door. Look at me. You don't go in the dryer, okay? Okay. This is what I teach in my webinars, my life coaching, and my upcoming Elevate Her One Day Boot Camp, Saturday, November 9th, on the campus of Azusa Pacific University. Your habitual thinking may say, oh, it's too far. I can't afford it. I don't know who's going to be there. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're a creature of habit and your brain is resisting new possibilities. Train your brain to do something new so you can grow out of the old limited feelings of fear. I want you to learn about what I call the triangle of pain so you can grow into the triangle of possibilities. Are you ready? Are you willing? to create new habits and new outcomes for your money, your health, and your relationships. Choose to take the quality of your life to a new level with your peace, relationships, money, and health. I am here to be a resource for you. Thank you for listening and sharing this message. And you may want to listen to it several times because it's going to help break the cycle of poor habits. God bless you. This is Jewel Diamond Taylor. Stay in the light.